All right, so uh, I still can't get the controller to work correctly. Uh, I've went through all the settings, and as far as I can tell, everything is set up right. Uh, what it's doing now, I, I've got it to where uh, I can get it to initiate, you know, all the settings, and it gets the GPS lock. After bringing it outside, it will not get a GPS lock in the house. Uh, but, so like the LED, which is underneath here, uh, will start flashing saying it's ready to fly and all that, but it never will turn on the motors. It will not arm the motors. Uh, and I've done exactly what it says to, as far as arming the motors, which it says in the instructions, it says, you know, you just pull them in. And then you release, and you got to put this uh, the throttle above 10%, and it should turn on the motors. Uh, it will not. Uh, the only time I've been able to get the motors to spin up is if I disconnect the, the cord from the speed controllers and connect it directly to the receiver on the, the uh, channel 3, which is the throttle. And then I can check, and these will spin up if I do it like that. But, and I've checked each one individually, all four motors, all four speed controllers, they all work. They just won't work with the contr the flight controller. Uh, so this is a Taro ZYX-M. Uh, uh, so I'm going to turn it on and get it to initiate and I'll show you all what it's doing. So... First things first, of course, turn on the radio. Uh, okay, radio's on. Now we I may not be able to do this with one hand, but we'll try. Now it's doing all its stuff. Camera's having a spasm. It's still looking for GPS signal. Okay, there we go. We got GPS. It should start flashing yellow. There we go. Okay, so that's attitude mode. So, as far as I understand from all the instructions, it should be ready to fly, to fly now. So, nothing. And you can, nothing. Nothing. So I've tried all the different uh, combinations to arm the motors, and it won't do anything. This isn't attached yet. It's just sitting up there, uh, mainly because I figure I'm probably going to have to return that. Uh, so any help would be appreciated, as far as I can tell. Now I hook it up to the computer, and uh, you can see it on the computer whenever you turn up the throttle it shows that the controller is picking that up uh, all of the controls from the radio it's picking up and you can see that when it's hooked up to the computer but it will not do anything with the motors uh, it's not arming for whatever reason now uh, this is the first quad that I've built myself so what I did is channel 3 is throttle so I pulled that out, and I checked with a multimeter, and it's like point, uh, I don't remember the exact number, it's like point three volts or something like that, is what you get out of here. Now, I did the same thing over here, and when you adjust the throttle on the control, uh, that, that number will drop or increase very slightly. But uh, on here, coming out of the flight controller, I'm getting... I think 1.1 volts 
and when you change the uh, throttle, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't change the power going out to the speed controllers. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, if anybody knows, you know, the power that should be coming out of that, if that's normal or what, uh, feel free to let me know. But, uh, no, I have not calibrated my speed controllers yet. Uh, mainly because I've never done that before. I don't have the, uh, the the little computer thing you hook up to them to, to calibrate them. Now from what I understand these are already, these are designed for quads. Uh, I think they're called multi-star uh, 30 amp or yeah 30 or 40 amps I don't remember. Uh, but so I don't imagine that that would be the issue though because like I said when I hook it directly to the receiver they'll work. So I don't know, maybe is there some kind of setting that, you know, works with the different voltage that you get out of the speed controller? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Uh, I don't think so, but hey, you never know. So if y'all know the answer to that, feel free to share with me. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video and uh, switch the wires over and I'll show y'all one of the motors running. Uh, be right back. Okay, so I took, uh, this is, goes to motor one, I put it directly onto the throttle, which is number three, and So, so obviously that's working. Uh, and I've done all four motors. They all do the same thing. So, yeah, again, I don't know what's going on there. And uh, I'll go ahead and switch this back. And then I'm going to take it inside and I'll hook it up to the computer and uh, show the different settings and uh, show that it's receiving the information from the transmitter or from the radio uh way maybe someone's had this issue before and knows what's going on uh my only other option is i'm going to send this video to hobby king see if they can tell me and if they can't tell me then i guess i'm going to send this thing back which is pretty ridiculous if i had to send this back if this isn't working i'm going to be very upset because i've already had to get a replacement radio from them uh the last radio that i got would not turn on and uh, if you hadn't seen my other video about that, uh, the radio that I received came, uh, was a return to them. Someone had gotten it, it didn't work, and they returned it to Hobby King. And then Hobby King turned around and sold it to me. How I know that is because the, uh, the packing slip for it was inside the box with the controller. So, uh... And it said, you know, return on it. So that was really upsetting because I had to pay for shipping to send the other one back, which was ridiculous. Uh, they did get this one to me really quick. The same day uh, that they got the return, they uh, already had the, the new one, uh, the label printed for the new one. And it was shipped out the next day, and I had it within two days. So that was good. But total of uh, seven days to get a replacement from the time it took me to send it to them. Uh, and then you had the weekend there where no shipping happens. They got it packaged and then sent it back. It took about seven days. Uh, so if I have to send this back, I'm going to be very upset. One quad and two major components don't work. So we'll see what happens uh anyway so let me take this inside and get it hooked to the computer we'll see what's going on all right so i got the quad hooked up to the computer so here's the throttle 
You see, it doesn't go up to 100. I'm not sure if that matters or not. It only goes to 95. It goes down to 102. Negative. Brother. So, so all the settings, feel free to comment if you see anything that I'm doing wrong. I don't have my go home set up yet. I don't think that's going to have anything to do with it. Uh, I guess we can go through some of the controls on some of the settings on here. Start doing this looking through the camera. Something I did notice is uh, server frequency value 50 hertz. Not sure if that matters. I have no idea what that does. If you know, feel free to say. I'm gonna mess with logic switches. I'm not really 100% sure what to do with those two. Uh, I just hadn't got that far. I'm sure they didn't have anything to do with my issue. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's all we got. So if you've got any ideas, Go ahead and say something. See you later.